oh because she <laughs> she wanted that she wanted the one and the two and the three four five six she wanted all the smoke y'all and she almost had it and it was just it would have got ugly really quick and i'm glad it didn't get ugly because i got all five of my certifications and that's all that motherfucking matter okay F savage bitch savage. your trap and take over over name another bitch that's cold I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a chauffeur. Got a chauffeur. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Getting wise, I had my money getting older. older. I that bitch, I ain't even gonna hold it. I that bitch, and I thought that it told, told it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so in today's video, we are gonna be talking about Job Corps. Y'all, and I. Okay, before we get into the video, video, I got something to say. I know I always ask y'all, hey, I'm running out of Job Corps videos. Can you, like, put down some things you would like to know more so I can make more videos for you guys? And when y'all do that, I screenshot it, right? So, so I screenshot it and then, like, maybe a few videos later, I need some more storage. And so, in my phone, because I edit for my phone, my iPad or my MacBook. So I was editing it for my phone. And so I deleted like a whole bunch of screenshots. So I will have to go back to see like, and it's like, I got like 200 and something videos. So I will have to go all the way back just to figure out what y'all said in those comments. And then sometimes y'all don't even put job core video comments under job core videos. Y'all put it under vlogs. Y'all put it under makeup videos. Y'all put it under hauls. Y'all put it under a whole bunch of videos. So it's just like, I lose them. So if you have a job core video or a topic of job core you want me to review, please leave them down in this comment section. And this time I'm gonna get a pencil and paper and write them down, okay? Thank you. All right, so in this job core video, it's gonna be a story time, y'all. It's gonna be a long way to story time because I've been, I was been supposed to say this story time, but it's just like, I was, I really didn't feel like talking about it, but we're gonna talk about it today, all right? So, yes, the title is right. I almost got into a fight, a full on fight with my center director okay so from this video don't don't feel like you can go walk up to your center director talk any type of way this and that and the third and not get sent home okay all right give me give me okay so i almost got into a fight with my center director i'm gonna show you i'm gonna tell y'all how the whole thing went down okay so first I already had an attitude because at this point I'm ready to get, I'm ready. To, it was like my fifth month there and I, I finished in six months. I think it was my fifth or fourth month there, maybe six, one of them. I was almost done with my chapters. I was on like chapter like 58 or whatever, or like 55 because the, the book, the chapter, get it denied, get it out. The chapter, the book. The book had 58 chapters, so I was in the 50s, okay? So, when we're on Christmas break, I couldn't go home. I didn't have a home to go to, so I didn't go to work for Christmas break. So, we could not take tests. We could not do anything for Christmas break. And I literally was there, like, studying, sleeping, eating, watching YouTube and contemplate my life basically. So I was already like somewhat depressed, upset, whatever you want to call it. You can take it and run with it, right? Okay, so so I didn't have nothing to do but study, watch TV, eat, get fat, stuff like that. And so when we finally went back, I was ready to get on the ball. I was ready to finish my test. I was almost done. I was like, yo, I can taste it. I can taste these certifications. I'm ready to test. I'm ready to get this whole thing over it. Like done. I'm ready to leave. Y'all too drama fight for me. Everybody wanna fight. It's just I'm tired, right? So then I we get we get into the classroom. Would you gonna say that? I wrote all my notes down, I'm ready to take these tests. I'm ready for it, right? 
So we get to the classroom and I felt so bad for this teacher. I loved her, but she pissed me off and I was already upset and halfway depressed and ready to leave. And I mean, I, I guess you could say I took my anger out on her when it wasn't really her fault. But so we went into the classroom and the teacher was like, I have a new method on teaching y'all just to get everybody moving moving in their chapters. Da, 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 da. Mind you, I'm already in my 50s, right? So people been there for like a year and haven't been, they've been on like chapter 10 for like a year, right? Because they're not trying, they need somewhere to stay or they're just, they not trying, don't want to try or just really don't care. Their parents send them there or whatever, right? So she tells us her plan and I'm just like, what? so she tells us okay you guys we're about to start learning in a new method we are going to be learning chapter by chapter I'm gonna go by certain chapters on where most people are at and you guys can sit in a group and we're gonna do lectures and stuff like that mind you job core for us I don't know if they changed it for us then was self-paced like you go in you do what you gotta do you self-pace you this you that you on your own bro if you need to teach help you can call it for the teacher for help if you don't need to teach help you could just do your own thing i was on doing my own thing but when i needed her for help i did go to her for help like when i felt quizzes or whatever and i'd be like oh okay i don't really understand this topic can you help me i would go to her for help so when she said this idea it kind of puzzled me because everybody that's been there for a year or whatever because I think you could stay at Job Corps. I, if I'm not mistaken, you could stay, stay at Job Corps for two years. Okay, so they give you two years to do what you got to do, get how many certifications you want, whatever. I don't think that includes college, okay? Because, you know, college is like two years or whatever, depending on what you pick. But they do have a little house for college students. So that's a whole nother thing. But my whole thing was, you're saying that you're going to do study groups and quiz groups for people that's not... For people that's going to be at a certain chapter, most people being at a certain chapter, and I'm I'm surpassed everybody in those chapters. So you're basically you're telling me that you're not going to do more no more quiz reviews. You're not going to do you're not going to teach any more lectures unless it's for that specific specific group. So that means I'm on 50. Say I have a problem with 51. And I come ask you for help and you're not going to help me because you're doing a lecture with students that's on chapter 10, 13, 15 or whatever. So I get frustrated. I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I said, OK, I'm not doing that. Um, I don't understand it. It is what it is. And she was like, what do you mean? Um, I thought you would like this. You're one of my best students. Blah, blah, blah. And I said, I just don't understand why you wouldn't scatter around. We do this chapter one day, we do this chapter one day, we do this chapter one day for other people because everybody was everywhere. Some people was just coming in. Some people was on chapter five. Some people been there for a year and some months and was on chapter like 20. And then some people like me was only there for like a little bit and it's already on chapter 50. And you're telling me that you're gonna start off in the smaller section and work your way up. So that means if I were to rely on you, cause you're saying you're not gonna do no quiz reviews and you're not gonna do no more lectures unless it's what you're going off of, like the topics or chapters that you're doing, that means you're not gonna help me until you get to my point. I'm not I'm not doing it. I said, it, it doesn't make sense because I talk with my hands. I talk with my hands a lot. That's probably why people, anyways, I tell her, I said it don't make sense if everybody's in a different spot in the book and you're only going to the lower chapters you got people in in the lower chapters you got people in the mid chapters you got people taking um mid midterms you got people taking certifications that need help going over certifications you got people about to take certifications you can't just focus on the people that's been here for a year and some months and think that the people that's almost done or about to take certifications is going to wait for you to get done with all those chapters, all 58 chapters, just to get to them. I said, I'm not doing that. I said, you can do what you're going to do, but I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And I'm going to just keep taking my tests, take my certifications. And that's just going to be that, like I've been doing, and come to you for help. And if you're not going to help me, I'll figure it out. So that hurt her feelings. She started crying and she left. 
like she left the building and she walked out and that was that so here's me not just like I was just telling her like I'm not waiting on you I'm not you don't it's hard because it's like they want people to move but then it's also like they hold them back so it depends on where you're going as well because my center it was like you need to move you need to move y'all need to be on your on your a game because some people stay there for like almost two years and have barely touched the surface like still in chapter like 10 type stuff so they're taking advantage of the program but then when you come to moving too fast like me you're red flagged is they are they cheating do they really know the the stuff like what are they doing um they need to do this they need to do that they need to do this how come they're moving so fast everybody has a different learning method everybody has their own way of learning everybody has their own mindset and their own goals if people don't want to move and they want to stay there and ride the wave at job corps or whatever that's what they want to do they don't want to get out on their own yet they don't want to pay bills or whatever yet they don't want to go get a car yet they just stuck at there they're just stuck around like that setting okay i had a mindset i'm ready to go i'm ready to do this i'm ready to do that i'm ready to do this i'm ready to do that so i was like like i showed y'all but in my previous videos i set goals for myself i wanted to take three tests a day to get out of there 58 chapters try to take at least three tests a day y'all when i failed a test i would cry like i was so upset because if i fell a test that means I'm not reaching my goals. That's me. I'm, I have to stay here longer. So I tried to, you know, get them tests knocked out. So that's all I was telling her. I just don't understand why you're holding some people back when y'all want people to move. But then y'all saying people moving too, too, too fast. So she went crying. She left. I couldn't do nothing about it. Everybody's going to say their opinion. Some people was like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Some people like, no, nah, I want to work by myself. Some people was like, um, well, I'm kind of iffy about it. Let me see how it goes. Me? No, I'm not with it. And some people weren't with it either. So, like I said, she loved. She was crying. Um, which I, I'm sorry that she was crying. I didn't mean to make her cry. But just everybody has their own opinion. She should have been ready for. She said she loved me and I was one of her best students. So she should have known I was headstrong. And that I was ready to get done with my chapters and I was ready to get out of there from how fast I was taking the chapter. So she should have known that if, you know, she really known me or really loved me or whatever. But like I said, she went crying. And then next thing I know, I'm doing my work, listening to my music, center director comes. Boom. So the center director comes and I'm just like. She was like, um, I heard one of you guys made one of my teachers cry and I just want, I'm just here to let you know they're here for y'all. They're here to help you learn. They're here to help you get through quizzes and stuff like that. So if you have a problem with anything that they're doing, you need to come to me. And I was just like, first of all, whoa, hold on. I got something to say. Y'all don't, I mean, y'all don't know me, but y'all know me. I don't do well with the whole you think you about to talk to me like crazy and about to lay your point and I'm not about to lay mine okay so then she was like so if y'all had anything to say y'all can just let me know right boom looked at me so when she looked at me I was like you know what I'm not the quiet one so we're about to we're about to get it get it hot okay so I say well I was just saying that it just don't make sense if a person's all the way in the 50s and we're supposed to be doing all of us, all of us are supposed to be doing reviews in the 10, 15, 13 range. And some people are in their 40s, some people are in their 50s. And this is a self-paced program. Yes, we have a teacher, like you said, we have a teacher that's here for us to refer to if we need help. But half of the time we're on our own most of the time we are on our own so i don't understand where her method comes to play that helps us all and she was like but like i said 
it was my idea so you didn't have to get loud with her i said well i didn't get loud we had a disagreement which people are going to do people are going to disagree about the situations people are going to like it people are going to love it people are going to hate it people are going to be cautious about it like so so about it so i didn't really yell and then so that's when she got upset because i was talking back or whatever and then she just kept like talking i don't even remember because y'all my my mindset was like this is crazy like she lost her mind it's, she don't lost her mind so she's walking up to my like okay so i don't know where y'all was she's where y'all at she's that close to me and then she comes to my desk and was like do we have a problem do we have a problem because i can send you home I can send you home. And this at this point, she's this close. I can send you home because I can send you home. And I'm just like, first of all, I didn't do anything for you to send me home. But I had a, a disagreement with a teacher, which didn't turn loud with me standing up. I didn't threaten her. I didn't curse at her. And I didn't throw stuff around the room or anything like that. So I don't see how you could send me home. But I felt like what she wanted me to do at the time, I felt like she wanted me, the, the fact that she was approaching me, she wanted me to stand up. I felt like if I would have stand up, stood up and been like, I don't understand why you have a problem. Um, I just said this, this, and this, 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 and this. Me just simply standing up, like standing up for myself, which I was still standing up for myself, but I wasn't actually like physically standing up. If I was a, if I were to have physically stood up to her face to face, I probably would have been so home. And y'all, I was in my fifties. I would have been about done and sent home back to the pizza place but i can't keep this mouth shut it's just it is what it is it's just it's i can't like i really i just can't help it like i can help it in certain situations but in that situation i felt like she was dead wrong because i wasn't disrespectful i wasn't yelling i wasn't cursing i wasn't throwing stuff i wasn't making a scene we was having a class conversation and people were disagreeing and agreeing with her and i was just the one that spoke the most like i just didn't understand her logic like and so I was like, I don't understand why you're coming up to me like like right now. I really don't understand why you walking up to me like this. Like this is very unprofessional of you as a center director to walk up to me like you want to fight. And you're supposed to be the leader of all the girls. That just didn't make sense. So she was just like, I can send you home. Da, 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 da. I was like, you can't send me home. You can't. You can't. And you can't because you don't have a good reason to send me home. So you won't send me home you can't and she was like okay we'll see about that right boom so she left and that was that did i get sound nope did i get all five of my certifications yep and guess who left the teacher and guess what everybody's struggling okay so she want to talk about me do this and that and this and that this and this and that mm -mm. Baby, I'm like the one with the two or the three or the four or the five or the six. Okay, I'm not net one. I'm not net. I'm not net one of them, at all. So the fact that she even came, it was just, it was just crazy. It was ghetto. It was. I'm not gonna lie. I can get defensive. I can get upset, and I can get really, really angry. That was like a mid angry, really, really angry. I probably would have stood up and pushed her out my face, but I didn't do all that because I'm almost done with my chapters, and it's just like I'm not gonna. You're not going to send me to jail for putting my hands on you, okay? So, yeah. She did get in my face. But I think I handled it pretty well. Just nobody's not going to run over me. Nobody's going to talk shit to me. And I not, not say nothing. Like, that's just how I am. How I always will be. Well, this I just started being like that in high school. Because I used to get bullied in high school or whatever. So, I, I feel like you're coming at me any type of way. It's just dead ball okay dead ball but yeah that's it for this story i didn't get suspended i still graduated um got all five of my certifications plus yeah i got all five of my certification plus cpr and first aid and yeah um the center director or the teacher is not even like me and the teacher we talked it out on why i was disagreeing with her 
like it just didn't make sense and I was just telling her it was just a disagreement you acted like I was like shutting the whole thing down like the whole your whole teaching method that I was just saying it's not for me I'm not saying you shouldn't do this in your classroom I just said it don't make sense and it's not for me I'm not doing it so me and her me and the teacher had a talk in and we kind of settled our disagreement or whatever and I passed all my certifications me and the center director we kind of like kept our distance but when it was time for me to go we talked because I had to get my paper signs honey so I was like yeah come on let's go because mm -hmm. you just mm -hmm. okay she don't even work there anymore um the teacher don't work there no more the students are struggling there um when I left a few like when I left once I left the teacher my teacher left because she had surgery and stuff so when she left it's like all her methods left no student know what to do they didn't know what to study nobody passed all their certifications or anything and they're just, they just been struggling so it's just it is what it is job core is iffy um if you're not able to discipline yourself and teach yourself kind of sort of and motivate yourself it's going to be hard especially if teachers come and go and they're not really working with your working like working with your like how you learn then it's not going to work but um most of the time they do work with you there was some nice teachers there not saying that the teacher that had a disagreement what disagreement with wasn't nice what she was it's just sometimes it was just some teachers was just hard to get along with and some teachers were great wonderful um it all depends on you your how you learned and how they learn and which job court you go to but yeah that's my little story of me almost fighting my center director that was it it wasn't really much um but she really got in my face and the whole thing was just crazy because my friend at the time was just like, Denaya, shut up. Denaya, calm down. Denaya, do this. Denaya, do that. But it's just like, y'all, when I get upset, I just get upset and I just block everything out and I just see what's in front of me and who I'm arguing with. Everything else is blurred or blacked out and I'm just seeing who's in front of me, who I'm arguing with, who's my anger toward. That's it. And I don't even hear anything else. It's just, I'm sorry. It is what it is. But... I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will be posting once a week, if not more than once a week. We're coming back, they're back, they're back, they're back, they're back with these videos, guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm about to start school full time. Scratch that. I have started school full time. I'm about to start working. I start tomorrow orientation. So videos might be once a week instead of how I've been doing it. I've been trying to do like two, three videos a week or at least once a week. So, um, that's how it's probably going to be once a week, but we're going to see. So y'all stay blessed. Keep your mask on. Keep your hands washed. Stay safe. Stay cautious. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. E. E. E.